Ben, that's too heavy for you. Just wait for your dad. Okay, just put it by the table. I want to see it. Or just drop it right there. Ashley. It's okay. It's okay. We just have to put it back in. Because if Santa steps on one of the ornaments, he might just drop off your gifts next door. <gasps> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You gonna spin? Yeah. Murphy's entity draws inspiration from that of the Native American Wendigo and the ancient Celtic Eric. This disease attaches itself to willing or unwilling hosts and grows inside, effectively leeching off of his or her life. Jacob believes he must appease this entity by bringing harm to himself and infecting those around him. Penny, what are you doing out here? Oh, hey, Dad. Mom needs you. How long have you been listening? I, uh... Listen, buddy. You don't need to hear this. It's grown-up stuff, okay? Okay, Dad. It's cool, though. I'm not scared of monsters anymore. Oh, I forgot. You're ten now. You can't be scared. Nope. Okay, go tell Mom I'll be down in a minute, okay? Okay, Dad. You focus here. Oh, oh yeah, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. helping me. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> See? Oh! <laughs> okay, guys, game over. You know what that means, right? Bedtime. Yeah. Aww, but I'm not even tired. Good night, dude. Good night. You okay, buddy? Yeah. What you saw earlier, forget about it, okay? Part of my job is to help people with the things they make up. You understand? I get it, Dad. It's like your comic books. It's all make-believe. Got it. Love you, buddy. Love you, too. Let him in your office? No, he just um, peeked in for a second, that's all. A second's all it takes, David. You're right. I'm sorry. It's okay, just, just keep the door locked from now on, okay? I will. I, I've just been pounding my brain over this one. Oh, sweetie, I, I, I know. I, I can tell. He'll figure it out. They always do. 
And that's why I love you. Dr. Warren. I gotta go clean up. You can't look at this. Come on, I want to see. Nobody knows where it comes from, but it's always there, watching over you while you sleep, waiting for you to open your eyes for the last time. It stalks its prey. It hides and watches you without you even knowing. It waits for the perfect moment when you're least expecting. It's got one hooked claw. In the other hand, it's now so big that you'll put your mouth out. Stop! You're such a baby. Do you want me to stop? You're scaring me. I don't like this story. Okay, fine. I'll stop. I told you you were too young for this stuff.
In conclusion, Jacob's obsession with the rake could be seen as a supernatural hallucination. Cassie! Chapter, right? Something to be said about tradition. <laughs> Looks like everything got here a little bit. Where do you want to start? I don't know, dummy. Where do you want to oh, start? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. What were you just saying to me about tradition? Is this for real? Or is this a dream? I find it hard. Hard to believe Don't wake me up Because it feels <sighs> There's so much shit in that barn Like literal shit? Yeah, like literal shit What do you think? Mm, I definitely think it's a fixer-upper. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm used to those. Oh. <laughs> Is that so? Mm-hmm. Is that really that bad? No. Otherwise, I never would have said I do. Point taken. Ouch. <laughs> but I'm glad you did. Me too. Stop distracting me. We got work to do. We got people coming over tomorrow. Okay, okay, boss. What time are they coming? Ben and Michelle said six, and then Ashley. I don't know. Don't worry, it's gonna work out, right? There's 
as my woman. No, you don't. Got it. Good? Got it. you so early. Did you have a friend drop you off? Uh, I took a cab. Great. <laughs> Come in. Sorry about the mess. We're gonna have everything all cleared up by the time everyone got here tomorrow. <laughs> so good to see you. Cool. <laughs> here. Thank you. It's very thoughtful of you. <laughs> what is it? It's a spider plant. Native, is it? I don't know, I just know they're like impossible to kill. Low maintenance. All right, come in, I'll show you around. You can put this away. <laughs> come on. I'm down to 14 per day, I think. After for my anxiety, mixed with a few antidepressants, and the rest are basically horse tranquilizers. But still, nothing holds a torch to the shit that were feeding me in the hospital. Well, so that's progress then, right? Yeah, no voices. Well, that's good. Yeah, I think so. I'm starting to sort my shit out. Signed up for school again. Well, online courses. And I've been working part-time as a florist. A florist, really? <laughs> mm. I always thought you hated gardening. I did, I still do. I'm like the human version of herbicide. Probably should have consulted with Miss Authority here first. But can't be choosy, I guess. It's kind of hard to get a job when you have no real work experience. Why is that? Well, after inpatient therapy, I was a bit of a nomad. I can't really handle people. They can't handle me. Thus, the plants. Well, I guess it's kind of hard to plant your roots when you're constantly ripping them out. Did you really just make a plant metaphor? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> but you know, he's not wrong. It is. It's, it's hard to start over when you're a drifter. To find friends, to find love. Marriage and kids. Uh-huh. Yeah, let's not go there. Not the maternal type? Like you? No, not really. Well, I'm just beat, all right? Give you guys some alone time, honey. I love you. Ashley, it's... It's always good seeing you. <laughs> hey, um... Thank you for reaching out, you know? Thanks for giving a shit. It wasn't the same without you. I mean, California was great for Andrew's career and everything, but I didn't like that it kept me from you. I'm really happy that you're here. Me too. Hold on. I 
Good night. We know it's the same story over and over again. It's just that I need you to be as relaxed as possible, and Ashley isn't exactly zen, if you know what I mean. Do you know what I was thinking about on the car ride? Tell me. I want to know my family again. I still remember when Dad brought Ben and Ashley home. Ashley screamed more than she spoke, and Ben didn't talk at all. It took me a really long time to gain their trust. Hey. Hey, you... You helped them through a difficult transition. We helped each other. <laughs> we were isolated in California for so long. I just worry I'm not going to be able to make up for that. Especially with Ashley. And I, I want them around. No one can break you.
thought Californians were early risers. Yeah. yeah, well, we figured we'd take notes from your hawks and sleep in this season. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I come bearing gifts, and this is how you treat me? Yeah, well, good to see you. Nice to see you. Can we pull up? No, I don't think so. <clears throat> Man, the chair looks great. Thanks. I think I caught on a staple or something. You all right? Yeah, I'll live. It is so great to have you back home, Nikki. It's really great to be home. Dad's old chair. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, keep it together. <laughs> I'm just trying to do something nice. No, Ben, it's really, really sweet. I was just looking at pictures of us on this thing when we were younger, and I can't believe that you hung on to it for me. Thank you. Every child should have an heirloom, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did you keep? The adoption record. Framed it and hung it in my office. It's really nice. Uh, where would you like this? Oh, um... <clears throat> oh, wow, look at that view. Yeah, sure beats looking at your neighbor's building, which is what we did a lot of in California. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is nice. We like it. <laughs> you could just set that here. It could be good. Oh, the house is coming together nicely. Yeah, slowly but surely. First night in the new place? No, it's not that. Um, Ashley came in last night. That's great. Where's she at? She's still sleeping. She, um, she sort of had an episode. Yeah, she was screaming bloody murder in the basement. Well, she had a night terror. It was bad, Ben. I haven't seen her like that even as a kid. It was different. I don't know, like, more real. I thought you said she was improving. Yeah, she was. Um, I'm gonna head out. I'll talk to you guys later. No, no, Ben, Ben, come on, just stay for a little bit. Come on, dude, stay. No, I can't. We'll talk more tonight. Ben. That was weird. I hope he's okay. PM. Uh, where is Nicole? Making up for lost sleep. She didn't need to stay up with me. Seriously? Didn't you and Ben coin the phrase mama sis? Touche. She always hated it though. Said it sounded like incest. <laughs> it was a panic attack. What? In the basement. I bet your friends in the psych ward love that. Sorry. I didn't mean to upset anyone. Then I guess you're not responsible then. I mean, look, you know what she's been through. Ash. 
just be present for Nicole. I'll leave before you cause any more damage. Something? Um, no. I just, I wanted to know if you were okay. Fine. Thanks. Ashley! Ashley, wait! Where are you going? Ashley, just talk to me for a minute, please. I made a mistake. What are you talking about? I'm not ready for this. Who is, really? Ready for anything in their life. I'm trying to create something here. Something that we haven't had since Dad died. Please. I'm doing everybody a favor. Trust me. No, you trust me. You are a part of this. I used to be. Just stay the night. We'll start fresh in the morning. Andrew and I really... And <coughs> Ashley, Ashley, just stay till the end of dinner then, okay? Ben is gonna be crushed if he doesn't see you. And then afterwards, if you still feel like you wanna leave, I'll take you anywhere you wanna go. G Graham? Yes? Okay, okay, Gra yeah, I know, I know, Graham. Listen, will you just stop interrupting me for like a second? When I say that I need to decompress, thank me in advance for sparing your life. Oh, okay, yeah, sure, try your little power play, see what happens, huh? Let me tell you something, Graham. I got two masters, a loaded nine mil, and perfect 34 Bs, any of which can turn you and your prick inside out. So let's just say it together, huh? Confidence! Jesus Christ. you just threaten to smoke your partner? No, oh, just a memo between friends. I'm glad we're not friends. Oh no, I like you. It's just Graham on the other hand. Maybe it's time to leave. Leave? No, leaving solves nothing, honey. Tenacity wins. We don't need tenacity right now, we need a break. A break? Okay, you know, I don't think he's gonna be calling anytime soon. I think he got the point. Good. Because it would just be really nice if you weren't glued to your phone all weekend. Yes. Monday through Friday's bad enough. Yikes. Take a chill pill. You know I didn't mean it like that. It's fine. Just drop it. You know what? No. Just because Ashley's struggling with some shit doesn't mean that you have to, too. Yeah, you're right. Damn straight I'm right. It took a little bit of time, but you turned out okay. I'm proud of you. Thanks. 
Yeah. But can you just turn off this emo attitude? You're a lot stronger than you realize. You know, just help her through this shit and show her how it's done. take care of herself but she can't take care of herself why can't you accept that I did years ago they should have never released her from the hospital she obviously needs a lot of supervision and help how can you be so cold to her honestly what has she ever done to you really nothing it's just that she's bringing you down that's pissing me off. We have a really shitty way of showing your concern for my well-being. I just, I don't know why you didn't let her go when she wanted to leave. Because she's my sister. She's not your sister. Hello? Hey, where is everyone? Hello? Andrew? Hey! Good, Ash. Whatever. You look happy. I'm trying. One day at a time, you know. been good. Hey, I thought you said you were gonna bring someone. Oh, yeah, yeah, Kim. She'll be around. Her shift ends at 8. Ah, come on, who cares? Right, great. You know, come inside, man. I got food on the way. It's good. Food? Jeremy need drink. A drink! A pint! A pint for Brother Jeremy! A pint for Brother Andrew! I don't know who this man is anymore. <laughs> Andrew! The guy who once drank an entire bottle of tequila and tried to fight a rugby team now wears Mr. Rogers sweaters and drinks grape juice. Huh. I'm sorry that my taste is too sophisticated for even you. Tell me, did Nicole pluck your berries or did they just shrivel up and fall off a vine? Okay, you know, my berries are just fine, okay? <laughs> yeah, says the guy who built his fucking wine rack before his love shack. Oh, you know what? Fuck off, you uncivilized savage, you. Oh. Uh, I knew California would make you soft. Of course it would. All it is is a bunch of fucking famous people and kale. And the ocean, and fresh fruit, the sun. <laughs> and you traded all that for the winters of Siberia. <laughs> Family's worth freezing for. Sure is. This one's nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
This was taken the day that Dad brought you and Ben home. Do you remember that? Just like yesterday. Welcome back, Nicole and Andrew. <laughs> Bring on the bubbly. Oh, uh, I shouldn't. Come on, Mama Sis. One's not gonna kill you. No fucking way. Wait, I don't get it. I'm pregnant. Yes! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh. Looks like the berries are hanging just fine after all, huh? <laughs> Now it's a celebration. Congrats to you too. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Ashley, aren't you excited? You're gonna be an aunt. Aren't you excited? Yeah, sure. You just can't be happy for her. Just let it go, okay? Man. No! I'm interested. I'm interested. Is there any particular reason why you deem it necessary to yet again suck the fucking happiness out of the fucking room? Well, I guess we opened that bottle of champagne a little too early. Hey, Andrew, relax, man. No, no, she's done nothing but scare my wife. My wife ever since she got here. You know what, Andrew? I am perfectly capable of speaking for myself. And that being said, you are acting like an asshole. I guess I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about then, huh? She came out in pieces. What? 18 months ago. I was so weak that my doctors urged me to terminate her. I said she would most likely come out fucked up. <laughs> holes in her brain or something worse. I was in a constant state of insomnia and paranoia, so I trusted them. I can still feel the cold steel as they pried me open. It smells the stench that filled the room as they blended her up inside of me and vacuumed her out like trash. Still want me to plan the baby shower? You're fucking pathetic. Why would she say something like that? Do you think that that's the truth? Do you think it was too much too soon? She's not used to crowds. Or frat boys. I know. This whole night. God, I wish I could drink. Un momento. I think I saw something in. Uh, uh huh. Baby safe. You guys, this is still a celebration, right? Babe. Babe. You're being uncle. Yep. 
Here Three we of go. us can still salvage the night, right? Can you please take a moment and celebrate with your sister? You two start without me. I just need to clear my head for a bit. All right, you're not leaving until you have this toast with us. So beautiful. Thought of any names yet? Well, you know, it's it's still early. We don't want to get ahead of ourselves. Okay, bitch, you're glowing. All right, <laughs> just relax. You're gonna be fine. Come on. What do you got? Okay. Um. If it's a boy, mm -hmm. Andrew wants to name him Oliver, after his father. And if it's a girl, I've chosen Savannah. Savannah? Oh my god, that's so hot. <laughs> it's like guaranteed to be a pretty one. <laughs> to family. 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 Sorry, but I need to get some air. Oh. Congratulations. Ben? She'll be okay. Have been there, Ash. I highly doubt that. Who went to the psych evaluations with you? The late night emergency room visits? You thought I was crazy? You were hurting yourself. Does this look familiar to you, Mom and Dad? Jacob Murphy? Stop this, Ash, please. You know what this is. You saw it that night. I saw Mom and Dad. I saw that maniac slit his own throat. There was something else in the house. Jacob Murphy has been dead for 20 years. It didn't end with Murphy. Okay, he was just a body. He, he was a, a vessel, one of many. Do you hear what you're saying? I wanted to keep my baby, but I had to save her from him, not a man who died 20 years ago. You have to deal with your shit. You decided that child's life. It threatened to cut her out of me every time I slept. Have you been taking your pills? They make everything cloudy. I can't function. How long? Months. God. I need to hear that you're stable, that you're trying to get better. What happened to all the progress you made? After I did what I did, it left me alone. I could sleep and eat again. No more whispers. It's getting stronger. In the family room just now, I heard it whispering to her. Savannah. Why do you still take your pills, Ben? Hmm? Are you afraid to dream? It's not the pills, Ash. I grew up and I moved on. I live in the here and now with Michelle and Nicole. Reality has no room for your rake. And neither does your family. Go fuck yourself.
given to him. You can trust me. Where's Ashley? Babe, look, just try to lay down, okay, and relax. You fell down the stairs and you may have a concussion. We're taking you to the hospital. Ashley, where is she? She's back at the house, Ben. Probably chain smoking out back. Did anyone see her? I'm sure she's still pretty upset from what happened earlier. I said, did anyone see her? Why are you freaking out? Something's happening to her. She's on herself. Yeah, big surprise. What are you talking about? Turn the car around. Ben, you're really freaking me out. <laughs> Just turn the fucking car around! Uncle Jeremy. I kind of like the ring to that. Does that mean your kid's gonna bring me beers and shit? I'm having a child, not a fucking servant. You want one so badly, go make your own. Oh, no, no, no. No, thank you. Kids are not my thing, man. Let's just say my sofa bed isn't the only thing that pulls out. You know, you're always so meticulous with your words, Jeremy. Oh, come on. Worse things have definitely been said tonight. What was I supposed to say, huh? Ashley, my dear, are you in need of readmittance? Please take my tax dollars and find Jesus. Really, I'm an asshole? Because I told a crazy bitch that she's acting like a crazy bitch? Even little Benny Boy Blue is in denial. Shouldn't be your problem, man. Nikki needs to realize you can't help someone if they don't want to be helped. Fuck them. Amen to that! I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. But I'm sorry. Amigo. It is me who is sorry. Yes! Bitch gets the booze! Ha-ha! <laughs> Fuck it. I'm gonna go take a piss. And I'm gonna go out for a smoke. Mm -hmm. Try not to piss on your slippers, Grandpa. Gibby, babe, we're all inside. Jesus Christ. What are you doing? Fogging up the windows without me? Babe, what are you doing, squatting in the bushes? Come out, come out wherever you are. Horny little bitch. Daddy's gonna spank you. Getting warmer, baby. I can hear you. So you're gonna have to tell us why you're freaking out. Do you remember the nightmares that Ash and I used to have as kids? Of course. About the night that your parents were murdered. 
Those nightmares never went away. You told me they stopped. I lied. I understand. Our nightmares suggest that something else was in the house that night. Something that has stayed with us. How does that have anything to do with Ashley? She believes she's becoming its conduit. To do what? To infect us all. Okay, are we seriously considering this as a possibility right now? She killed her baby to save it from this thing. Then Ashley was unfit to be a mother. She was just confused. Did you ever mention the name Savannah to her? No. She knew. Why would it whisper to an unborn child? It speaks to what it wants. Crazy bitch can check on herself. Graham, your nuts better be falling off. How is that important? <laughs> really? Okay. Graham, are you deliberately trying to piss me off? Wait, shut up, Graham. Hey, J Jesus Christ, just give me a second! Okay, I'm sorry. 
sorry, what? You know, I don't understand why I hired you if I can't delegate a goddamn thing to you. You did what? HR? Are you fucking kidding me? Just do your goddamn job! <laughs> Do you believe her? Ashley? Yeah, do you trust her? How else would she know what she knows? Ben, I love Ashley to pieces, but what if Andrew's right? She's not wrong, Nicole. Something is off. I've seen... I've felt something here, too. I lost my baby boy at nearly 19 weeks. I will do everything in my power to make sure that this baby comes into this world safely. Even if that means losing a sister. Let you have her.
in you too. Sweet dreams, patiently quiet. 
Thank you.